Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? So, currently on screen, we're gonna be playing Phasmophobia. But not just any type of Phasmophobia, we're gonna be playing an older version. And I'm gonna walk you through how to do it. So, I'm gonna go on my browser. I wanna shout out this guy right here for, for the tutorial. I'm just gonna be basically trying to do a better explanation on how to do this. And everything that he meant and didn't really seem to mention. He did mention backing up your save file. If you want to do that, or it's not technically your save file, it's just so no files get corrupted with your current save. So step one, go here, click properties. You'll be on general or local files. Click local files if you're on general or anyone or anywhere else. Click backup game files. As you can see, I'm already backed up my files that way I can do this easier for you guys can't close that crap so if you want to play in multiplayer um I'll show you so if you want to play multiplayer in the description will be a um will be this manifest ID the first thing that you want to do, I did not want to snapshot that thing. Oh. So you want to copy this right here in the description. I'll link it there, or you can type it in. So you want to press and hold Windows, and then press press and hold Windows, and then press R. You should get this thing right here. Just paste this in. Click Enter. It will open steaming in onto its console mode and all that you have to do is link in the description oh crap i clicked one <laughs> i don't have the time to set up okay so you want to paste this in and then and then if you're having a custom id you will want to you want to copy the manifest right there like a manifest right here And you want up space and then boom enter and then boom click enter and it should download and all that you have to do is now wait so i'll see you once it downloads oh yeah bonus clip by the way while i'm recording this um i forgot to mention that i have a second screen as you can see right here this just shows you what's going on on my other monitor that way you guys can get a full-on follow and I just want to keep in mind, it's downloading the entire game. So it will download the 20 gigabytes of this game. Mm -hmm. It's going to download as much as there is. That way, that way, there's no like glitches. And this is it. Which means that the older versions may be something like 10 or like this. So... Just remember that you're downloading the exact same game, just less files. So it will it will be as big as this is what it's going to try to download. Okay, so I finally got it downloaded. As you can see by in the console, it says download complete. So what you want to do, you want to open up one file explorer and put it right on the edge. Click Steams. This, this, this. Boom. I'm gonna real quickly do this. Boom. Oh, you can't see my real name, even though you probably saw it. So you want to make sure. So you want to select all your files in Phasmophobia, and you want to delete it. Just go, and then right-click, delete, and then you want to click this this steam steam apps content app data depot and here's your phasmophobia stuff so you want to select it right click copy go right here paste and now you just gotta wait and then try to launch your game but while that's downloading you want to go to steam real quick click this properties local file or no not local files general launch options play some or no not some play phasmophobia 
it, I recommend only doing the um, uh, screen mode for now because I have no idea. I'm I know that it's probably the most stable since it was meant for screen mode or in VR. So now you can close out of these this stuff and then you click play. Just play it. see if it will launch through Steam VR. As you can see it did not launch through Steam VR. Never mind it did. For some reason it did launch through Steam VR, but I don't think it will like make it work with Steam VR. Phasmophobia uses voice recognition. Loading game. Let's find out. Oh back. it's working. Ready for you. Oh I've actually never played this before. Alright, let's set this to my main thing. Or can I not? Is it like locked to this revolution? Graphics. Uh, it's trying to run at 1440p. No, my, my screen's not meant for that. It's meant for 1080. 1080 at 60 hertz. That, that will work. Actually, hold on. Uh, that will work. Man. Man, I've never played this version before. This is amazing. Hey, can't my counter. Look at how slow you run. Hello. Hello. I've never played this. Is there like a, is the ghost still up there? Nope, it's gone. Holy crap. I gotta send this to the boys. Shift tab. Um. That is literally amazing. I've never played this before. Let's see if anyone's online. Population one. That's me. <laughs> oh, I've never played this. All right, here we go. Let's play on Tangy Wood. I've never played this before, but as you guys can see, it works just fine. Oh, can I? Oh, please tell me you have. No, we don't have the burrito smudge. This is not my flash, right? Oh, this is UV. I know this is UV. Yeah, and then there's the old. <gasps> I've never, I've never wanted to try the old spirit box as much as right now. Oh. Oh. Where are you? Oh, I got the front door key. Front door key. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that's photo cam. The game looks so good! Holy crap, and I'm on max brightness. Yeah, five minutes. Doing a ton of stuff. Where's the evidence? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you here?
here. Are you friendly? Are you French? Do you like me? Voice chat's broken in this version. That's what I know. Oh, this is amazing! I never played this version. I never played this so much. I'm actually very, I'm actually very surprised. All right, bro. Let's find this ghost and then let's get out of here. Let me go for any book that. And then, oh, I should've left my thingy in there. I guess that's okay, but I don't know. Do we have an objective skill, or do we not? No, we do not. Okay. And this is the one where you actually have to be in the house in order to take a photo. See? And... Oh, wait, never mind. Can you write in the book? Let's see the phantom banshee. Please be banshee. Uh. Oh. Hey. It is a banshee. It means that if we had the paramite, we could hear a banshee scream. Alright, epic. And that just proves that this is the old, old thing. Also, you keep your equipment in case you do not know. <laughs> oh, that was an EF my five thing. Because I can't. Welcome back. I've prepared some jobs for you. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I have. Zero actually reset my stuff. Wow, this is I backed it up. Don't worry, I backed my safe file up. All right, select job Edgefield Tanglewood. Woo. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a box. I'm literally a box. Okay, I don't have a single thing, right? I guess I, I mean, I never really played in this one because but, welcome back. There's some that. jobs ready for you. Like, please tell me I can go inside the lock here. I want to see what it's like. <gasps> oh. Can you take me? Oh, so amazing! Look at the old basketball. They actually, I'm pretty sure they use this bat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they use this basketball in the in the high school, didn't they? Funk. I must get a goal before I end the video. Eh, no. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I will make one. Yay. Call me LeBron John James. Call me Alpha. 